I was 14, I mean, I couldn't stay out of jail. I mean, I just couldn't stay out of jail, bro. Yeah. Like, it was times when I was like, man, God, why the f*** you doing this to me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, like, to the point, like, I wish you were like, God, come down here and we can fight. Like, come down here and, and fight me, bro. So, our guy Kodak Black is in big trouble. And unfortunately, it is nothing that he is not used to. As he is now on the run and facing a crazy new charge that we probably could have seen coming. Well, this morning, rapper Kodak Black has been arrested in Miami-Dade County on weapons charges. Rapper Kodak Black from Pembroke Pines is under arrest again, this time on seven felony counts. I literally don't think that there is a rapper that ends up in front of a judge as much as Kodak Black, and it's usually for the same couple of things, drugs and or guns, or some combination of the two. Look, I'm not gonna arrest you all shit, all right? This is just for the time being. On Thursday, the 20-year-old rapper was arrested after police raided his home in Fort Lauderdale. And when he's not getting pulled over and arrested, he's usually getting his house raided. Now, you would think by now, with all of his money and fame and being at one of the hottest points in his career, that he would find a way to stay out of jail or away from the laws, or at least the people around him would. So finally, some good news for Kodak Black after not-so-nice weekend. He's out of the hospital does have a walker, but uh, considering he was shot less than 48 hours before, it's pretty good news. And you might also think that after surviving a shooting in Hollywood, he might slow down a little bit, but that's not like our guy Kodak. But even after the shooting and all of his past cases and currently being on felony probation, Kodak Black has managed to get in trouble again. But why is there a brand new arrest warrant out for the rapper? Well, we'll talk about that and some of his past cases that got us here. But first, I am Joe Stone. This is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. Well, cool comes to pray, you come to stay and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video coming your way where we find the most shocking and provocative news and take it to church. Now, according to NBC News, on Saturday, February 11th, an arrest warrant was issued for the South Florida rapper Bill Capri, better known as Kodak Black, after failing a drug test. You switch like a little bit. Damn, I knew you tripping. We could have been superstars. Can't help it now, I'm reminiscing. Remember when we were jacking cars? The arrest warrant, which was signed by a judge on February 17th and issued by a Broward County judge this Thursday, alleges that Kodak Black had failed to show up for his random drug test on February 3rd, 2023, before being tested positive for fentanyl five days later. Now, if you don't know what fentanyl is, it's probably one of the most dangerous or if not the most dangerous street drug at this point. Like, it's really bad. It's the type of stuff that if you even touch it with your fingers on your skin, you could pass out or overdose. It's crazy. But this is huge because, as stated in his arrest warrant, after being found with 14 to 24 grams of oxycodone in his possession last year, Kodak was charged with one count of drug trafficking last year on July 16, 2022. So having tested positive now is a big deal and violates the conditions of his 2022 trafficking release. Kodak had to manage to evade harsh jail time in a trafficking case, but it looks like he probably messed it up. Now, the testing is a part of his pretrial release on bail for his trafficking case, and now his bond is to be revoked according to the arrest warrant. And of course, none of this is new to Kodak. He's had multiple run-ins with the law and even had President Trump give him a pardon, but he still found a way to end up in jail. In May of 2019, Kodak and three of his friends were apprehended while crossing the border to Canada from New York. They were found to have a 9mm pistol, some Weed, which was eventually confiscated, of course, and he walked out on bond from that case. Ben, in the car Kodak. last night. Yo, who the f Ben? Ben, stop playing. My son got them racks. Not even a month later, Kodak was arrested again in Miami under a weapons charge in what was described as an extensive investigation. These people trying to get Kodak off the streets for real, for real. And in November 2019, Kodak was sentenced to 46 months or three and a half years in prison for pleading guilty to making false statements when purchasing firearms for weapons charges. Kodak need to stay away from all guns and drugs. Jeez. Now, if you remember, this led to a lawsuit from Kodak due to his conditions that he said he was facing in jail, saying it was inhumane conditions, and that they were beating him while he was in prison. And again, in 2020, President Trump let the man out of jail. Just hours before Joe Biden is said to be sworn in as the 46th president of the United States, Trump pardoned rappers Lil Wayne and Kodak Black. The television rapper was sentenced to nearly four years in prison after pleading guilty on federal weapon charges. He had two years on his sentence remaining and he literally walked out. And instead of taking that blessing and running with it, Kodak Black is back. 
Now, with having his bond revoked and having a history of drug abuse and being arrested for these things, I don't know if Kodak Black will be seeing the light of day. Now, he has yet to turn himself in, even though the arrest warrant is out, and we'll keep you updated as we get more information, because maybe he'll just turn himself in and go quietly, or maybe Kodak Black will just say, y'all gotta catch me when you catch me. Either one, I wouldn't be surprised of. But I'm hoping he can figure this out, because look, man, we all love the man's music. It's just that it seems like he got some problems that he gotta deal with, and until he really face them, he's gonna keep ended up in a dangerous cycle but this goes back to the point where locking a man up is not going to solve this problem he obviously has an addiction issue and he needs help for that so maybe instead of just putting him in prison we get him some real help but before we get out of here we got to dive into the comments and see what the streets got to say about all of this as soon as Trump parties you, you go around to do this BS. Do making the whole black community look bad. Soon they won't pardon any black people. I'm be honest, we weren't at the top of that list anyway. It don't put that on Kodak Black. Man has a love for prison. He has been in and out for almost a decade, if not more. Yeah, Kodak, can we gotta do better than that. He could claim that drug use is an occupational hazard for a rapper. I don't know if that's gonna work, but anything's worth it at this point. No story here. You violate, you pay the price like anyone else would. Okay, no love right there. Good, we don't need these types of people on our public streets. Someone put them in rehab already, but then again, I doubt it would work. It's drugs today, then guns tomorrow. Man needs a hobby outside of all of this. You gotta change the situation and your environment if you plan to change your life. You can't do one without the other. Facts. So this fool is really on the run. La fa la, how he think Biden gonna party him after all this? Look at Lil Wayne. Dude got pardoned and he just chitted. be like Wayne. Facts, be like Wayne, stay out the way, get your money, and stay out of jail. He got his pardon and stay the hell out the way. And you right, Biden is not pardoning Kodak Black. I don't see that coming. At this point, jail is his first home address outside of his vacation home. Well, look, you're not wrong there. That's the end of our story for today. I am Joe Stone. This is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. Well, cool comes to pray. You come to stay and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video coming your way where we find the most shocking and provocative news and take it to church. I'll see you in the next one.